Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the timer on your range. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the range. So either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuses, and then we can start the repair. Now that we've disconnected the power, our next step will be to pull the range far enough forward that we can remove the back panel on the back side of that console. So we'll next remove the screws that secure that panel to the back of the range. Remove the two at the top. And be sure to support that panel as you remove the last screw. and just tilt that panel back, lift it off of the two little tabs on the inner back panel, and then we'll set that aside. Now with the back panel out of the way, our next step will be to disconnect the wires from the original timer. Simply grasp the wire terminals and pull them straight off of the timer. Now you may find you have a terminal with two sets of wires attached to it. There's typically just a double terminal, so you need to grasp both sides of that and pull that off. Now with the wires removed, our next step will be to remove the four mounting screws that secure it to the brackets. and just pull that timer out through the opening before we install the new one. Remove the protective film in the front. Now to prepare that new timer to go into the range, we'll need to swap the escutcheon off of the old one and then transfer it onto the new one first. So we'll go ahead and clean the escutcheon or overlay first. Now, once we've cleaned that up, we're going to carefully peel it off of the old timer. So use a very thin putty knife. And then carefully go in on the edge. and carefully peel that off. Make sure that there's enough of the original adhesive on there. If not, get a couple of strips of Too Faced tape and carefully apply those to it. And then we'll transfer it to the new timer. Make sure it's centered properly. Press the adhesive into place. And now we can line that up and put it back into the range. Slide it into position. And then reinstall the mounting screws. Make sure it's mounted securely. And if your model uses a slightly different original timer, you'll want to follow the instructions that were packed with the new one to be sure of the proper placement of those jumper wires. We can now go ahead and reconnect our wire harnesses. And now we're ready to put the back panel back on. Now when reinstalling that back panel, we want to make sure that this little cutout hooks in underneath the little flanges on the top of that bottom cover. As well, these tabs across the bottom of that are going to hook into these two tabs 
on the main back panel. Once you have it positioned in place, tilt it up. If you have this extended tab on the right hand side, we need to flex that and tuck it up in behind the console. And then we can reinstall the retaining screws. And now we're ready to position the range to push back into place. We can now push the range back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.